All over here at Metropolitan Police in the FA Cup, we're with Chip and the manager Gary Horgan. Gary, uh, good performance, good result, and ultimately in the hat for the fourth qualifying round. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, like, like I said, I think I sort of said to the lads in there, it's not easy to come to to teams um, from from the league below. Um, you know, they they see it as a little bit of a free hit, um, and and you know, in the first 15 minutes of of any game. Um, like you said, we needed it to settle down. Um, we were a tiny bit off it, a tiny bit off it, and they started really, really well. Um, you know, I had a really good chance straight away, almost in the first couple of minutes. Had that gone in, and maybe it's a different game. Um, but I felt like you, said, you know, like you said, it was a good performance with us in the end. Um, we stayed patient, and uh, like I said, I think we, uh, like second half, probably could have, probably could have scored a couple more. Wasn't ideal preparations, Gary, for yourself and your management team coming in today. Lots of traffic, lots of obstruction on the way up to Met Police today. I think we managed to touch down and get into the changing rooms probably about quarter past two. I know, obviously, that if it had gone the other way, that might have been a bit of a different one that other people could lay on. But how does that really affect your preparations? I mean, a lot of people only ever see you quarter three when they come through the ground. But did that really affect you today? Um, it, it, it probably does have a little bit of an effect. But, you know, the good news is you do... You do your work during the week, so you know we, we're prepared all through the week. It probably it's probably more so just individuals' preparation. Um, you know, some of them have got their own little routines. You know, I'm, I'm going to say him just because he's walked past behind me, but you know, someone like Will Henry's got his own individual routine that he wants to he wants to do for games. So he, that's that's a time-bound one as well. So so that type of thing. So, but overall, like I said, you know, other than some of the stuff we'll say there, it's really just about you know individuals' preparation. So it, it does affect it a tiny bit. But I certainly wouldn't have used that as an excuse. Have we? Uh, have we not got a favourable result. We'll get to the game, Gary. Obviously, you've said the first half, um, yeah, we looked very good in possession. Um, they did get the goal. Um, it looked almost as if you know, their energy in the first sort of 45 minutes was going to carry them, but only a certain certain period of time before it sort of ran out. Half time, you know, you've got in, you've had a chat with the boys, and the best kind of response that you can have, get down the right hand side, corner from Youngie and Spencer Hamilton, your captain, returning to the side pops up to bring us back level. Yeah, like I said, I, th I thought you know they they started really well first 15 minutes. Um, like I said, as to be expected, I think it's the away side. We probably did, you know, didn't weather the storm as well as I would have liked. Um, but yeah, I thought we you know again we, we kept the ball moving from side to side, tried to tie them down. Then we make a mistake and and we go one nil down. Um, but from then on in, again, I, I felt that we were comfortable. I always thought we would we would score. Um, you know, that the longer the game goes on, you think. You know, maybe it's not going to be our day, but but we scored as you said straight after straight after half time from from uh, Spence, and then obviously that I think you could see absolutely settled everybody on the pitch at least, and that was the message at half time. Just be patient because we were on top. We were on top. Maybe like you say, it was just final balls into the box or final decisions in the final third that were letting us down really. So it was more so like you say decision making and and a, and a tiny bit of execution at times. But but yeah, no, absolutely. I, th I thought we'd go on to win the game, and as soon as we scored, then then it, it became you know fairly comfortable. And I. Uh... You know, I don't want to blow smoke up your proverbial, Gary, but managers live and die by the sword. They live and die by their decisions. The decision on Tuesday to rest quite a few players, including, in the end, your match winner, Kane Bradbury. He's come up trumps. Joey Parker's got down the right-hand side. The ball's gone into the middle, it's flicked up off the head, and a great technique from Bradbury to put it away. That's put the game to bed. I suppose, without meaning to sort of sound too much like it was vindicated, because uh, nobody likes losing games of football, and obviously that's what happened on Tuesday. The changes and the freshness and the vibrancy to the side today has certainly contributed to the result that's ended up being very positive in the FA Cup. Yeah, like I said, today's today's about results, but you know, the, again, the, you know, the, the, the changes made on Tuesday, yeah, may look like you know we're, we're choosing to freshen stuff up. And I did say, you know, maybe I, I made too many changes, but any of those changes I made, I, I don't think weakens us whatsoever. So um, that's where we're pleased with the strength of the squad that we've got. Um, so yeah, you know, there's absolute trust between all of us. So um, yeah, I, I mean, vindication or not, you know, we've we've won a game of football and we're we're in the hat for the for the next round. So um, you know. Long may that continue. And we'll move on to the next round in a couple of minutes, Gary, as we are with everyone. Uh, a couple of injuries today, certainly to Eddie in the first half. He was forced off very early and uh, forced a change of personnel. Uh, Spence going out to right back and tears coming on. I don't think that was you know, necessarily the worst thing. Spence has done a very good job for you in the past uh, down the right-hand side. And obviously, Will has become quite dependable over the couple of weeks. Youngy right towards the end. I know we ask after the game, but it's going to be very difficult to assess. But are any of those injuries looking like they might keep them out for a sustained period of time? Or are they just knocks? Um, at the moment, we're hoping they're just knocks. Um, Eddie's, Eddie's done his hip flexor just after. After a, a really good tackle early on in the game, 
Um, and as you said, you know, if anything, that allowed us to, to, to bring on tears. And we knew we were going to need him at some point today, um, just because, like I say, he, he, you know, he, he does dribble and pin and he dribble and drives out from defence. So he gives you that. Um, so we knew at some point we, we were probably going to have to use him in, in, that, in that sort of, um, you know, in that aspect of his game. So, so that was really good. Um, but in terms of in terms of Youngie, he's probably a little bit early. He sort of said it's knee on knee contact. So. So he's got a bit of a, a, a dead leg and a dead knee. We just have to see if there's a little bit more than that um, come come tomorrow and maybe going into the early part of next week. Pressure off for yourself now as a, as, as a manager, Gary. The FA Cup always, as we know at this level, carries a certain amount of expectation, um, more so than desire, um, to get into these stages. We're now in the fourth qualifying round at your first attempt as a manager as well at Chippenham. Fourth qualifying round, we've asked the lads. I'm sure they've kind of played it as uh, played it off a little bit cool, but we know we always get a straight answer from yourself. Who are we looking for in the next round, Gary? Are we looking for somebody beneath us where we can go in favourites? Or are you at this point just hold no fear in a one-game shootout to get yourself into the FA Cup first round proper? Um, it depends what you're looking for, really, I suppose. Um, you, you know, it'd be nice to go to, say, someone like a, uh, a Derby County away or an Ipswich or someone like that. But, but me personally, I, I, I'll take anybody, um, you know, particularly at home, um, you know, sort of reward for, for our fans to get a bit of a, a day out type scenario. But um, I think the real ones are, that, that I'd like to look at and, and maybe sort of like hope in some sort of aspect you'd have a bit of a, a bit of a possibility that, you know, they're, they're pipe dreams to an extent. But someone local like Bristol Rovers at home or Swindon at home would be a really good one for the first round. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, look, we're just glad to be there. We'll take anybody. Um, but yeah, a, 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 a tie at home would be uh, would be uh, something that we'd be looking forward to. Don't necessarily want to make this all about me because I've been accused of that in the past. But I'm stunned that in four interviews, not a single person has mentioned the last football club to win the FA Cup that come in at this level in Portsmouth. Why is that? You just don't want to play them, or is it too far to come down to my house? Uh, no, to, to be fair, they would have been in that group. They would have been in that group. Someone mentioned it to me this morning, but they're going really well at the moment, Portsmouth. So um, you know, I've, yeah, we'll probably, stick, I've probably we'll picked, stick with the derbies and the switches. Then I've, I've probably picked up the ones that we might be able to uh, might be able to win. Perfect. Well, Gary, I think you and your staff, your players, all of the supporters, your directors, everyone that tra- travelled up on the coach of the year day and suffered that uh, that long enduring nightmare getting here. Ninety minutes are very very good, but uh, sometimes you know very tense football. FA Cup always carries that. I think you've definitely earned yourself and your your lads a point today. Congratulations from all of us. We're in the hat for the for the fourth qualifier around the FA Cup. Fingers crossed we can get to that first round proper, just as we deserve. Well done, Gary. Thanks, guys. Well done, mate.